Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today it's about Goran Groove's Handy Drums and the library is called Studio Standard. And they have multiple libraries. It's basically a drum plugin or drum VST. And the benefit of these drum VSTs is that you have multiple velocity layers for each of these instruments, of course. So you can play this stuff very dynamically if you want to. It's not, not just one sample for each instrument, for each snare. And all these samples sound pretty great. And you not only have these uh, usual suspect drum sounds, you also get a lot of percussions on top here. Now even take us in here and whistles. And metronome clicks, right? And the big benefit of this plugin also is that all these sounds are already well mixed together. So if you lay down a MIDI clip, note clip, and create your drum groove, it's already nicely mixed. So you don't need to fiddle around with all these volume sliders here. It's already nicely mixed. You also have here um, a sub bus for the drums and for the percussions. If you want to change that, um, you can do that. There's also here remapping. Oh, that's, that's just a piano roll. Remapping, where you can remap certain sounds to different MIDI keys if you want to do that. There are some settings or some presets, some routing options, so you can output the sounds to different um, um, yeah, outputs. <laughs> and you can also change here the hi-hat controller, the velocity curve. There's also a standalone version available, so you can choose here the audio output if you want to. And there's UI scaling, it's also there. So nice options to have. Um, there are some drawbacks because this is a very cheap plugin compared to the others. So it's just 40 bucks. Um, the sounds are great, but certain things are missing in this plugin. For instance, you can't change the EQ settings for different sounds here. Uh, you can't also change the pitch or um, yeah, add some room to it or whatever. It's just the plain sounds, multiple. Uh, velocity layers of these sounds and that's it. If you want to change the pitch, you have to bounce down to audio and then pitch the audio. But I do that anyway when I do drum and bass. I usually just create a classic drum groove um, and then bounce drum groove out and pitch it up uh, in audio. That's what I do most of the time, so it's not a pr big problem for me. And I'd also, I don't want to um, drastically change the pitch also uh, anyway uh, with with the classic drum uh, breaks anyway uh, would be nice to have of course maybe an EQ for uh, thumbs here and for heights or uh, for heads or for rights or for crashes or something like this would be nice to have an hi hat here uh, and low cut on there maybe in an update I don't know so I want to show you this how this sounds here and what you can do with it uh, by just creating here uh, a drum groove in Bitwig because we have a lot of nice options in Bitwig. We need, need here a kick drum. And let's use a, a snare here. And the snare is here on D. And what's also great is that you have a clap just one step ahead and rim shot one step down, one semitone. So it's it's in the same area, right? Because you usually want to layer some of these sounds together. For instance, a clap and a, a snare. Um, let's play this here. Okay. Let's, let's bring down some hi-hats here. And these are different um, it's the same hi-hat, but you play the hi-hat differently. I think this is here when you play with the, with, the, with the top of the stick. And this is when you hit basically the hi-hat differently with your stick. So we... Do something like this. Maybe we bring in here a different groove. And 
hand we also can use here um, an open hi-hat. Something like this. And you can hear it has a long release. And then you play a hi-hat after that, it chokes. See, it's just a short open hi-hat. Because you play this afterwards. So you can choke it. So this is also a feature what's what's in there. Which is very important when you want to create drum grooves. So what we can do now is we can select all these hi-hats here and just bring in some velocity alternation. So we can use your velocity spread. So we have a different velocity each time we hit these settings here. Uh, we hit these drum uh, sounds. Uh, but also from the default stand, uh, from the default sound here itself. Usually you have also round robin. So even if you use the same velocity and the same note, the sound is a bit different every time you hit it. I don't know how many round robin layers there are. Uh, but there are some. Also here with the clap. It's the same notes, it's the same velocity, but the sound changes every time. So you get a lot of nice variety and dynamic in there. So bring in a, another kick drum here. So the second kick drum here, I want to have a probability of maybe 20%, so it's not played all the time. can do this but these toms here we want to have these toms only every four iterations at the end at the last iteration so we don't get this all the time and we probably want to have some kind of crash and this crash is only played um, in the first iteration of four iterations Oh, maybe different. Maybe it's just this. Oh, maybe we go here for this kind of sound. Let's see. Let's use here some um, ghost, ghost snares. Also bring down the velocity. And you can change the probability here, maybe 30%. bring in here some shuffle global groove let's see how this sounds
Let's see if we find some cobalt. This one here. Too much cobell. <laughs> That's never too much cobell. Uh, something like this. That's also possible. Um. Oh, triangle. And the snap. Mm. There's a lot of sounds to fill in the spaces, which is really nice. Holy shit. There's even a, an electronic snare in there. So it's really nice to play around with this, uh, in my opinion. Um, there are some different libraries on the website. I give you the link in the description below, of course. So they have different libraries here. Also reggae. Some rock stuff here. I'll probably go for the next, uh, the next library is probably the vintage standard. Which is nice to have for classic drum grooves. Jazz is probably also nice. Oh, there's no preview here. Okay. Um, Our Rock Studio Legend is probably also nice. And the snare sounds nice. And also some percussion libraries here only. And like I said, everything, you know, multiple velocity layers and uh, round robin, which is really nice to have when you want to create dynamic, dynamic drum loops. And all of these libraries are pretty cheap here, as you can see, 35 bucks, 35. That's it's all the same, right? This one is a bit ex more expensive, 39, for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, you can clearly see this is made by someone who really likes to play drums. Um, it's nicely crafted. Some features are missing, but like I said, it's also pretty cheap. And uh, of course, this video is not sponsored. I just saw this on Instagram and I thought maybe I give it a go, play around with it and show you guys um, so you can try it out for yourself. Um, each of these drum plugins here have also a trial version, uh, as you can see, free trial. 
And maybe give me a comment uh, under the video if it works uh, with Linux. So this would be interesting to know um, because a lot of people um, in the Bitwig community use Linux. So it would be nice to know if this, if this actually works on Linux. So um, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Just want to show you this. Uh, link is, is, in, is in the description below so you can try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video and ask some questions in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video and bye.